I am Alan Starsky, I am production designer. I am doing uh, sets in Jan Hannibal. No, in this movie it was a really, really great surprise. I, I just finished Oliver Twist. I came my home Poland. I tried to relax after a really big movie. Uh, uh, Oliver was a really big and long movie. And then I had a call from Dino. I mean, uh, uh, I, I, I pick up a telephone and, and, and it was a very serious voice saying to me, uh, Al, it's Alan, I said, yes. And he, the voice said, it's Dino speaking. So I said, who is speaking? And, and then Dino said, Dino De Laurentiis. And it was really fantastic for me <laughs> moment. I even misjudged this movie in the beginning because I remember I work all, last year I work always with my art director, Neno Petur, who is supervising art director in this movie also. We were thinking that it should not be a really difficult experience, but then after the, some few weeks we realized that it's growing bigger and bigger and because it's an action movie, art movie together, so this combination uh, it created a really uh, some level for us of our work. I must tell first, I, I like these movies very much. And I like this kind of mixture of horror movie and very elegant and very beautiful movie. So I look for these movies and then this g gave me a lot of, how to say, um, thoughts, how I should follow this, you know, the style of these movies. So obviously I start collecting, uh, you know, a lot of reference from the period. And this is my first step. And obviously later when I met, uh, you know, Peter Weber, who did such a beautiful movie like this girl with the pearl earring, I met Dio Pib and Ben Davis. I started talking with them about the style of the movie, color of the movie, light of the movie. And obviously all this discussion influenced my design. Plus, I must tell you that my beginning of my, let's say, career as a, as a production designer, I was doing a lot of movies in Poland, dealing with the uh, Second World War, which also gave give me some, you know, enough experience in this in this matter. No, as I mentioned before, it's, it's a long, long process because first there are just ideas, just sketches. Uh, uh, you know, which I am showing to Dino De Laurentiis, to Peter Weber. They have some opinions, they have some thoughts, we change this. And then we start, let's say, constructing and spending the money. So before we, we are doing this, I, I should be really sure that we are going on the right direction. No, he's a big boss, he's a big producer, he's a, a man who knows everything about the script. So, <laughs> mostly, I, w I was trying to present my, my ideas to Dino and I was listening what are his opinion, opinions about this. I mean, this is everyday struggle. I, if you like to build the interesting sets, if you like to build a good quality sets, if you like to build the sets which are good for director, producer and, and director of photography, you have to strike to get it. So it's never easy process. And the most important is what are the results. And I, I am hoping that at least until now, everyone appreciate this, what we are doing. And also this is even more important. This set looks good on the, uh, on the screen and, and they, uh, they helps this to understand the story. The audience really look very carefully for image and the audience you know, doesn't like to be cheated. Details should, should be very, very realistic. Because when people believe that it's not a set, they believe that it's real. This time we are not on the set, we are on location. Originally, it also was a kitchen of this place, an abandoned kitchen. One thing which attracted me here was a stove and the boiler here in the corner. Part of this was existing tiles, but part of this was just a cement floor. So you have to match this by the means of painting the, the floor. For example, this floor, it's uh, just painted. It's not, not, there are not the tiles. 
The same is with the tiles behind the stove. This was just an ordinary white, white modern tiles, and we make this with stencil this with this, some design. But what is important to get this feeling of used kitchen, each tile has a little bit different color, and, and it shows kind of in, imperfection. A uh, lot of things, what you see here, it's a, it's a work of set decoration. If you open the cupboard, you will see that this kitchen is really prepared to walk properly and normally. Very typical for this kind of chateau, it's a kind of information board. Uh, it's connected to each room, but if, if someone needs some service or some food in the, in the, in the room, uh, the number of the room appears on this board. My favorite place is really old French sink. And then on the other side, modern, modern for the time fridge of, uh, you know, from 50s. I must tell you honestly that this is an uh, impression about like three different kitchen I photograph in Paris. This furniture, the, 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 the wooden boards on the walls are copy of some kitchen I, I, I know. And you see here are a lot, lot of uh, bits and pieces, products. Uh, you know, it's even, a, we still have a time to shoot here, but we have a, you know, chocolate mousse prepared and, and things like this, which create the, 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 the good feeling. I hope it's a nice set, but also I hope it's authentic and it gives some feeling of the French chateau. And we will see this in the movie in very important scene because Hannibal is coming to the uh, chateau and first what he see, he see normal life, warm family, gathering, good food on the table. My plans for the future is uh, finish as good as possible this movie and have a break, <laughs> and have a good break. <laughs> Obviously, uh, you know, after this kind of movie, you always have some other good uh, offers, but I am very cautious when I'm looking for new movies. I, I really, really am trying to, to make a good, good decision because this is a one year of my life, the good movie and big movie. Thank you very much.